All right, second graders, we are using regular paints today to paint our clay rattle, and we have two goals. We want to show off all those awesome designs and textures that we stamped into our clay. And number two, we want to try to get rid of all the clay color. So I kind of use this as an example because this person did not get all the clay color to disappear. You can kind of see it around the textures. So I'm going to show you how to get that gone in a super fast way. So, messy mats, big brush, small brush, and I'm going to start with my big brush. I'm going to make sure it's clean by rinsing it, squeezing out all the extra water, and I am going to pick a lighter color to start. So I'm going to pick yellow or maybe orange or red, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint an area all yellow. So that means I'm making sure I have a lot of paint and I am swirling my brush or dabbing it into all those textured spots. So Some of you are thinking, oh, that doesn't look that good. Now you can't see those designs you put in. Well, the cool thing about clay is it just soaks up paint like a sponge. So I'm going to keep this pattern and I'm going to go around the edge to the back with yellow as well. And as you can see, I'm using a lot of paint, swirling, rubbing, dabbing, and I am going to make sure I have all those spots filled in. I'm even going to think about that edge that I had to pinch and seal closed. So as that starts to dry, I'm going to pick another background to do. So I am washing my brush all the way to the bottom, rubbing it on the bottom, squeezing out any extra water, and I'm going to choose to pick a different color for this middle area. You could really start by just painting your whole project one color if you'd like. So as I'm starting this orange, the yellow is really drying. Oh, I'm missing so many textures. So I'm going to go back and make sure I use my brush in a circle or I stamp it in there. Using more paint really helps to get that into all those textured spots. So if I was going to completely finish this, I would continue to wrap around the back with this orange, and then I might do the other side. But because I just want you guys to get started, I'm so anxious to see your painting, I'm going to say this is looking pretty dry in some areas. The yellow is almost completely dry. So I'm going to use my small brush and I am going to try to show off all of my designs with color. So like this circle, I can paint right on top of the yellow and they didn't smush and mix together because it's dry. I'm going to wash my brush and I'm going to go to a different color. And you can see because I painted yellow first, I've gotten all that texture around the edge. I've got like a horse stamper here, so I'm going to try to paint that a different color to make it stand out. You can make patterns today even if you didn't stamp them into your clay. So what do I mean by that? Well, I'm going to finish this horse. I'm going to wash my brush. Squeeze out that extra water. And I'm going to make a pattern where I pinched, like maybe red, another color, red, another color, red. And this orange is almost dry as well. It's that fast. So your goal today is to show off your textures, like this person did a fantastic job showing off their textures. But I also want you to think about painting one color first, then going back on the top of it to make sure you get all the clay covered up. When you're finished, you are going to put your clay project in the spot Mrs. Cleary is pointing to right now.